Today I'm going to show you how to make a no mess chook feeder for under $10 with an easy opening lid so that your chickens don't make a mess like with the old feeders keeps them away from their own feces keeps mess and fuss to a minimum in your chook house all for less than 10 bucks. Let's do it! Okay guys I'll quickly go through what we need to build this. The first thing you're going to need is some priming fluid and some glue. Hopefully you have some of that already and it won't add to your cost. What you're going to have to pick up at the hardware store is an end plug, one of these stepped end plugs, a push on cap and you're going to drill a hole in it large enough to fit a screw for a handle. Then you're going to need down this step down connector and what you're going to do is you're going to cut the end off the large piece, the 90 mil step down connector. You're going to need a 45 degree 90 mil joiner and you're going to need a section of pipe. Now I've chose to cut mine at 600, about two feet long. Obviously the longer you make your pipe the more feed you can store. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, with a rag, just prime the two ends, the two straight up ends of my 45 degree connector. I'm also going to prime the step down ring of my 40 of my 90 mil cap and I'm also going to prime the outside of my 90 mil step down connector what's left of it now that I've got that done I can get my glue first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my cap onto the bottom of the 45 degree 90 mil connector So I'm going to glue that on there like that. Just going to let that sit. While I wait for that to sit, I can glue the top of my step down connector. Now what I want to make sure I do is I want to put the step down ring that is closest here at the back end of my 45 degree so I want it facing away from the 45 degree which is where the chickens are going to feed so I'm now going to put that in with it facing as far away from the 45 degree as possible and I want to try and push it down as tight as I can while the glue is still wet so you want to push that down leaving room to glue the rest of your pipe in later on okay now that it's dried what we want to do is we want to cut down this part of the 45 here so that chooks can put their heads in and eat. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off around about that much. So there we have it cut off and as you can see the level here is not lower than the bottom of the step down adapter so that the chickens won't have feed spilling out of the feeder but they'll still be able to get their heads in and eat it up. Now we come to the other, the other cap, the other end, and it's quite simple. You just place it on top of that glue. Anytime you want to fill up the feeder, pour the feed in, put the cap back on the top. And there we have our no mess, no fuss feeder. 